What's up dudes, Chooch out here on the Veteran Sherman. This right here is the 2500 watt, 3200 watt hour, $3,699 electric unicycle. And this thing right here absolutely shreds guys. And this is just some really of the best clips of some rides that I've had including a brand new one right here ripping around on the dirt. I wanted to put some street riding in there too, just so you, people can see the dynamics of this machine, really what you can do with it. It's ripping around in Vegas and ripping around on some dirt trails right here. Now this thing, guys, I'm telling you what, has been phenomenal. It really has been great. This is the one unicycle I really didn't do anything to. I didn't do any waterproofing to it didn't open it up I didn't treat the bearing or anything like that and it's still ripping fine I had this riding on the beach in Santa Monica I've had it in Vegas I've had it riding in the Rocky Mountain snow everything in between dirt roads and it's ripping fine guys so this wheel right here really really shines it is a heavy wheel but if you can deal with the weight of it man you can just ride all day and it is a blast the whole rundown with this thing, guys, it was out of stock for like a year, and now it's back in stock. And the whole pandemic and everything made the price on this thing go up a little bit. But it is a phenomenal unicycle, and I think it is warranted. And if you want to pick up one, they're going to be coming back into stock in late December. So that's what I've heard, and I've heard that late December they're going to have a whole new shipment in i saw the e-rides actually already got their shipment in so if you're in in the international market so i mean outside of the united states click the link below and e-rides has these in stock for you guys so you're super lucky and you can actually get a discount below if you click that link and use the code that's in the description or either in the card right here above but unfortunately if you want to pick up one in the United States, you're going to have to just go ahead and, and wait until December to get your hands on one due to the whole shipping rundown that's going on with the container ships. You can put in a $1,000 deposit for it right now, and whenever it comes around to actually having to pay for the thing, you just have to pay the $2,699 of the remaining balance, and you should be golden. But if you want to pick up one, click the link below. For e-wheels for the United States and for international sales, click the e-rides link below. And if you're international, like I said, you can go ahead and get it because they're already in stock over there. And there is upgrades done to this thing. So this isn't going to be the same exact Sherman that you see here. There's going to be some significant upgrades to it. So they're not just going to be putting out the same exact thing just, you know, willy-nilly. They're going to they updated the rim on the thing. So people were having problems because it's such a heavy wheel. They were jumping these things. And man, I've seen people jump these things like, I, I, I mean, it'll go 45 miles an hour. And then, I mean, you hit a jump, I mean, you could fly over a house on this thing. And people just don't get the concept, I think, of landing on the transition part of the ramp. And dude, I just, there's, videos of people just jumping massive kickers i mean in skate parks everything in between and just landing flat dude with like 20 psi in the in the, i mean even less like with like 15 psi in it and it's like dude if you're going to ride a, a unis one of these unicycles that doesn't have suspension you need to land on the down part of the ramp guys if you're just landing on flat ground with no suspension with a unicycle that weighs almost 100 pounds with 15 psi the force has to go somewhere fellas but they upgraded the rim on the new one and they made it beefier and i'm actually super jealous of the of the new one because because of that that's i mean this great peace of mind if, but if you're riding guys with like 25 plus psi um, you'll be good to go the thing is with all my wheels now guys i i really like running that lower tire pressure like 25 for trails and all that but i just go ahead and increase it and, and i just got used to it so i rip now for every wheel pretty much i ride like 31 psi 
pretty much for everything. And I've literally set it to that all the time for everything, and it is a little bit high for my liking. I will say that. It does take a little a while to get used to it. And on some wheels, it does not feel right. On some wheels, that is too high, and on some wheels, that is too low. And it just depends on kind of the wear of your tire, how much tread you got left, and then your weight as well. But about 31 PSI is usually my go-to. And from there, I'll do adjustments. But that's that's the sweet spot. That's what I really like. And that, that will prevent you from denting your rim. But it is, I'm telling you, man, I really wish you could get it a little bit lower. And so that right there, what I just said, is why you would want a suspension unicycle. So what you'll be able to do with a suspension unicycle, like the Kingsong S20, is you'll be able to ride with a higher tire pressure, or <laughs> correction, you'll be able to ride with a lower tire pressure. And since you have that suspension there, whenever you hit something like a rock, or you have a hard landing, or anything that would traditionally maybe bend your rim, that force is going to be transferred into the suspension, like on a motorcycle or anything else. Like imagine riding a dirt bike with no suspension. You'd have dented rims all day long. So with the suspension unicycle, you're going to be able to lower that PSI as low as you really want to. I'm talking like, dude, you can lower that PSI on that S20, I'm thinking, for trail riding to like maybe like 15, like 18, like getting in there like like maybe like low 20s where you can just get a knobby tire on that thing and send it around corners i'm talking bank corners hit jumps everything in between and just have traction like you would not believe without ever worrying about denting your rim and so that's one huge benefit to the suspension unicycles that no one ever talks about and that is just man if you want to get the king song s20 I'm not telling you you shouldn't. I'm just riding the Sherman right here, and I'm telling you, you know, the veteran Abrams and the commander, all the, all those are available. But I am telling you for sure that that's why you would want a unicycle that has suspension on it that's high performance is so you can keep that tire pressure as low as you can and still ride the piss out of it. So even with the weight of a motorcycle, you're not running traditionally near as high of PSI as what you have to run on these. And that just comes into the factor of having that suspension there. And that really alleviates a lot of the stress on the rim and just on everything in general. So if they can nail it and this S20 really comes out to be uh, just a gym or it has the speed, it has the range, and it has that suspension back there, you know, it's gonna be an incredible wheel. You can put the pre-orders in down in the link below, guys, or right here in the card at the top to get this wheel you see right here, the King Song S20, this red wheel. Uh, the Veteran Abrams, this is the one you see right here next to the Sherman. The Sherman's the shorter one to the left that I'm riding in this video. The Abrams is the taller one you see right there. And that one's gonna be a 20 inch wheel made by the same company as this wheel right here, or 22 inch wheel, the Abrams is gonna be. This is a 20 inch wheel right here. And both of them are gonna be available, guys. So if you wanna get the one I'm riding right here, this one has longer range on it. But it is a smaller wheel, and it is not, it doesn't have all the new features and all the new upgrades that the Abrams has. This Abrams, the one that's gonna be a little bit bigger, is it's gonna actually have a motor that's way bigger too guys so it's not just a bigger unicycle it's gonna have a 1000 watt jump on the motor so it's gonna be a 3500 watt motor in this thing and i'm thinking it's gonna be almost like a 60 mile per hour wheel for the abrams guys so pre-orders pre are open for everything all the wheels sherman abrams s20 commander and then you got all the other wheels available links below and e-scooters guys it also helps me out if you get an e-scooter if you're not about the unicycles and you just want to get a fast e-scooter and just start riding right away to get to work or get down to class whatever you need to do and you just want to get an e-scooter those help me out too guys so links below for all the companies e-wheels e-rides rev rides and alien rides check them out it's been chooch
If you enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up, and I will see you dudes in the next one.